Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Neek. I just wanted to come to you guys with an what's what this be called? A post review on the hair that I did a review on about a week ago. Um, the fashion icon hair. This is their ombre Malaysian body wave hair. And you guys have to excuse me. I'm a little winded because I have been trying to record this video for over two hours now, and it's just not coming out the way that I want it to. So hopefully this one will come out right. So. Um, as you guys know, this hair was, well, it is ombre, it's the ombre Malaysian body wave. I got it in the colors 1B, 33, 27. The inches are 22, 20, 18, 16, and a 14 inch closure. You guys know those are the inches that I always get. Anyways, on to the review. So, so far, I'm going to keep it funky with you guys, okay? So far, I like this hair. Although, I do feel like the pros of this hair, no, I'm about to say that backwards. I feel like the cons of this hair outweigh the pros. I say that. I want to give you the pros first. Pros is, first thing, this hair, the color on it. Well, let's use this size as an example. Look at this coloring. The coloring on this hair is absolutely beautiful. Whoever did this. They got some doggone skills, okay? Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. Does my frame look better? I hope so. My camera was sitting lopsided. Um, we were talking about the pros. Okay, so the coloring on the hair is beautiful. Um, it, it's just wonderful. Also, this hair straightens phenomenally. Okay? Like, when I tell you this hair, it's like, it gets bone straight, baby. It gets bone straight. And I honestly think... I prefer to wear the hair straight over curly. Cons. First con is, when I first got this hair, you guys remember the nice body wave pattern texture thing that it had going on? Well, that all went bye-bye after I co-washed the hair. I happened to co-wash the hair with the Hello Hydration Conditioner. Now, right here, I don't have the conditioner, but this is the shampoo. But I, I co-washed it with this stuff. Um, the bottle pretty much looks the same. But I'm about out of shampoo. Okay. But, yeah, <laughs> I co-washed the hair. I let it air dry in the curls where the body, the body wave texture was gone. So I was kind of upset. I said, you know what? I'm just going to use my barrel curlers and curl the hair. Um, I used my barrel curls and after I used my barrel curlers, no more than 10 minutes when I got to the door, the hair was like there were no curls. You see how these curls look? There was no curls like this in the hair. And I even pinned the hair up after I curled it because I wanted to finish getting ready for work. I even pinned the hair up. So that was a real disappointment. Um, meaning that the hair doesn't hold curls, basically. So, so, I wore the hair for about a week. I wore it. I didn't have time to, like, really manipulate it or do anything different to the hair. So, I wore the hair as is. I mean, it looked nice, but, yeah, it wasn't what I wanted. I figured the hair looks better with, you know, I mean, look at the color. The hair looks kind of, like, at its best with its curls going on right so Friday this past Friday I was going out um, the hair from me messing in with the curl for, with the curlers had it was just limp lit like limp and lifeless um, so then I decided to do a full shampoo and condition um, and I shampooed and conditioned it with my staple products How you doing? <laughs> um, the Swaps Professionals Almond Almond and Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. I also, at first, I used the Sally's version of the Shimmer and Lights to kind of tone down because there was some brassiness in this hair. But as you guys can see, it's gone. And I kind of let it sit up there and it kind of made the blonde like a more grayish blonde kind of sort of instead of that, that honey blonde. <laughs> Okay, really, y'all? I'm sorry, y'all. I just hate that every time I do a video, somebody comes by on those little four-wheeler ATV things, and it just ticks me off. <sighs> okay. So, uh, I was talking about the 
shimmering lights the shimmering lights it, it instead of that honey blondish color it kind of gives it a more cool tone blonde i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah it gives it a more cool tone blonde um which i love so i flat ironed it and with flat ironing it I use the Garnier Fruit Teeth Sleek and Sh Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Spray, and after you blow dry it, because I had to blow dry my hair. When I blow dried it, I used the the Chi Silk Infusions. Um, I blow dried it, and it had this really big like lion effect going on. It was cute, and I started wearing it like that, but I was like, no. <laughs> um, so I sprayed this up there. I sprayed. I did it in sections. Spray the spray each section as you go because this stuff says that you're supposed to. It says spray mist evenly on dry hair and immediately flat iron. So since it said immediately flat iron, I felt like okay, I should spray it and then flat iron like immediately, like not even a couple seconds later. So I use this and I mean it had so much body to it. It was so pretty. So for the video today, um. For the video, I wanted curls. So I knew that me just using my barrel curlers was not going to hold. The curls were not going to last, especially being as long as it's taking me to record this doggone video. And I'm grateful for this stuff that I'm about to show you guys. Um, so what I did was I missed it down first. The hair was dry. It was still dry from when I flat ironed it the other day. Um, I, had, I didn't wash it basically is what I'm saying. Um, so I missed it down with the smooth, this is a 72 hour frizz resistant. Um, this is the Lux Infusion Anti-Humidity Style Hairspray. I got this from Walmart, it was about four, maybe two, four dollars I want to say it was. And I got the firm hold. So this stuff here, I missed it down, then I used my barrel colors, I pinned the hair up with my pins and then I... Missed it again, did my makeup, and then took the curls down. As you guys can see, this is the results that you get. So this is kind of like a two-in-one review because I'm reviewing this stuff. And this. And this stuff right here, I really like. Um, this is from the Swap Professionals line as well. The Swap, Swap Professionals line is supposed to be salon proven. And I, I'm thinking that they might really use this stuff in salons because this, all the stuff that I use from the Swap Professionals line is wonderful I love it but um as far as the hair goes if you are looking for hair that you can just wear straight out the pack after you can um, co-wash it this is not the hair because it's gonna it's gonna be lifeless kind of so not lifeless so to speak but it's not gonna have the same body way that you, that hair normally has even after you co-wash it so it's not for that if you're wanting to wear the hair straight which I think it looks its best straight then by all means this is some hair some good hair for that um but if you don't mind the product using products and stuff in your hair then so be it but overall like i said i still like this hair this hair doesn't get a not what what did i give it the last video a nine or a ten it doesn't get a nine or a ten anymore it's about a six seven because i have to do so much to it in order for it to work the way that i want it to work so, six or se I would say probably closer to a seven. Probably a seven. So, seven. I give this hair a seven. Um, I also wanted to remind you guys to hit me up with my email, which will be in the, the below bar with questions. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I just read an outdacious text message. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, hit me up with questions suggestions i want to do your suggestion videos still um so hit me up with that any questions that you have pertaining to lifestyle you know hair makeup you know just questions in general then let me know um also we're at 87 subscribers we're getting closer and closer to 100 you guys thank you guys so much for all of your support i really really do appreciate it so don't forget for my 100 subscriber giveaway um, I, I probably, I think I'm more leaning towards a gift card. Um, but I still want you guys' input on what you guys want. Also, Poshmark, you guys know the drill with that. Follow me on Poshmark. Go ahead and buy up the stuff that's listed there. Because I need to get rid of that stuff. It's been up there for a while. 
Um, what else? What else? I'm trying to think what else. My Ipsy bag should be coming soon. So we'll be having you you guys will be having a video for that. I'm thinking about doing another haul sometime or another. I don't know. And I'm still I gotta I got to get around to the video with that green hair. I'm sorry y'all, I've really been slipping. And I know I said I was gonna do a vlog for the fourth of July, but so much stuff happened for the 4th of July, guys. <laughs> that vlog did not get around to being done. Um, also, I'm looking at my little list. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat. My name is Nikki, N-I-K-K-I, -K -K -I, 98291. I had, could not remember my name. Like, when I do videos and stuff like I'm doing right now, I'm going to talk to you guys on here as well. That's pretty cool, right? I think so. <laughs> so, yeah, just follow me. You guys can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there any other social media that I use? No. Those are the main ones. Um, so, follow me on there. I think the giveaway is going to be something pertaining to Twitter. So, yeah. You guys need to follow me so that you guys can get your gift card. Cause I'm like I said, I'm more I'm leaning towards a gift card. So um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.